Hello and welcome to Clinical Exam Series with Dr. Piru. Today we are going to discuss how to examine a patient with Parkinson's disease or Parkinsonism. There are going to be two aspects of this video. In the first part, we will tell you what to do when carrying out examination of a patient with Parkinson's disease. The second aspect is going to demonstrate Parkinson's disease for you. OSCEs usually last between 3 minutes to 5 minutes. It is better to practice with 3 minutes to be on the safe side. As in all clinical examinations, we start by greeting the patient, obtaining an informed consent from the patient, establishing some form of rapport between you and the patient by assuring the patient you will not cause any pain, position the patient appropriately, use the personal protective equipment provided, and screen your patient before you commence your examination. For examination of a patient with Parkinson's disease, it is better the patient is seated. However, in the course of the examination, the patient is going to stand and the patient is also going to take a walk. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that is defined by bradykinesia with two of the following, resting tremors, postural instability, and or muscle rigidity. We begin this examination by inspecting the patient and here we are specifically looking for tremors at rest. This is different from the intention tremor that is associated with cerebellar lesions. We also inspect the face of the patient for what is known as the masked fasciae. Next, we ask the patient to make a simple statement such as, today is a very good day. While the patient is making that statement, we should listen for slowed speech as well as flat monotonous voice. Next, we assess muscle rigidity by assessing tone in the wrist, the elbows, the shoulders, the knees as well as the ankle of the patient. Patients with Parkinson's disease usually have hypertonia in this joint. Hypertonia in patients with Parkinson's disease is described as clog wheel rigidity and clasp knife rigidity. Next, we ask the patient to draw concentric circles. Patients with Parkinson's disease usually have difficulty making concentric circles. The next phase of this examination is to assess the gait of the individual. And here we ask the patient to walk 10 paces, make a turn and walk back 10 paces. While the patient is walking, we inspect the patient for stooping posture, shuffling gait, reduced swinging of the arms. We also observe if the patient tilts to any particular direction while walking. Patients with Parkinson's disease also turn in a peculiar manner. It is referred to as turning and block. We round up our examination by thanking the patient. 